Hello, this is uh, Ben, and uh, today I'd like to talk about recovery. And uh, the first thing I'd like to talk about with recovery is that recovery is part of training. Let me repeat that. Recovery is part of training. So it's not something that you do when you temporarily stop training. Okay, recovery is part of the training process. And that's something that's very important for runners and athletes and coaches to understand is that if you want to get better, if your goal is improving performance, you have to take recovery seriously. And we've talked about stress, recover, adapt, and that your body responds to stress, it needs time to recover, and then it bounces back and gets stronger. Okay, we've talked about that before. But recovery is part of that process. And if you don't take time to recover, you're not going to get the full benefit from the workout. So recovery, very, very important, and it needs to be taken very seriously. So a couple of ideas with recovery. First of all, we have this idea called the supercompensation window. And without getting too confusing and scientific, basically what that means is that when you stress your body out and you take time to recover and you fully recover, you adapt and get stronger, you have a period of time where you have to do another intense workout to get even better. In other words, to, 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 to kind of ride, ride what I call the, the wave of improvement. So you fully recover, you have a period of time after where another intense workout will make you stronger and better. And that can be anywhere from a few days to a few weeks. Okay, Jack Daniels talks about, and he's right, that it takes a long time to lose fitness. In other words, you don't lose fitness by not working out for a few days. It takes, uh, it takes weeks to lose fitness and you only lose a little bit at a time. You don't like lose a ton at a time. But that's important to realize is that after you fully recover, that's when it's time to do another intense workout, but not before you fully recover. Quality is more important than quantity, okay? Runners oftentimes have a hard time understanding that. They think that running miles is the way to go. Not true. It's the quality of those miles, okay? And there is a purpose for long, slow workouts. That's, there's a great benefit to that. But if you're just adding miles on top of miles, that's going to hurt you in the long run. And remember, the question you should always ask yourself before every workout is, what's the purpose of this workout? Okay, and if you can't answer that question, as the famous Jack Daniels would say, then go watch television. Next thing is recovery should be active, okay? Not, you know, when we're in recovery mode, doesn't mean that we're going to just sit on the couch and do nothing all day. You can do that for part of the day, but you should be doing what we call active recovery. So what I mean by that is you should be stretching, Okay, you, you can still do the dynamic stretches. You can do static stretches. You should be stretching. You can also do easy workouts. So you can walk easy. You can, you know, do some cross training. That's the next thing, like bike. There's a great benefit to just pedaling easy. You can swim, okay? You can do all kinds of things. But, you know, and, and, and part of recovery, if you, if you go slow and easy, you get benefit from that too. So slow and easy, is okay, just nothing that causes you to get more fatigued, more tired, or you're putting more wear and tear on your muscles. So for me, recovery days are usually easy swims, easy bikes. And I actually enjoy recovery days because, you know, to me, they're just very peaceful. So there you go. Recovery, take it serious.